course. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. Brand new one coming today, really really excited for this one. We've got Lady Bo-Katan from The Mandalorian. And uh, also she probably doubles well as a uh, Clone Wars character as well. Um, despite the fact that the figure does look, she does look a little bit older than she would have been in, during the Clone Wars. But um, just film my unboxing for my members, so that's an option um, if you feel like jumping on and becoming a member of my channel. Um, I sort of I've started doing all the unboxings when I get mail and stuff like that, so um, it's kind of fun, kind of fun just to have a little bit of a bit of a chat while I'm opening opening toys up. So let's take a look at this figure. Let's crack it open and get a look. All right, guys, here is Bo-Katan, and this is an absolutely amazing figure. Definitely giving a Sarge Venturous run for Figure of the Wave. I'm still really, really undecided about that. This is still so fresh in my hands. Um, got some accessories. We'll, we'll take a look at them uh, after we've had a look at the figure itself. So we'll get a close-up of this incredible head sculpt. That is absolutely, perfectly Katie Sackoff. Like her hair was sort of flared out a little bit more on the sides uh, in the in the show, but I can see why they sort of had it sitting flat just to sort of help the helmet sort of sit on a little bit tidier. But uh, I don't know. That's that's pretty damn amazing. That is just incredible. Seriously awesome. I've seen a lot of people sort of doing a little bit of customizing with this one, putting a little bit of a wash through her hair, just so it's not that sort of solid orange, a bit of a darker color, um, just to sort of give it a little bit of depth. Uh, I may end up doing that myself. There's a little bit of just extra sort of just scuffed plastic there. I should be able to wipe that off afterwards. Not a problem at all. Headband is great. I love that. Again, we're looking at the sort of the wear and tear on our armor. I've seen a lot of people weather this up a lot more than it is. Some nice sort of dirty marks along around the sort of the night owl signia there. Same on that side. Go down to her wrist gauntlets. They look pretty good. The other thing people have been doing is painting up her belt and pouches just to look a little bit darker as well. Give them a sort of bit more of that sort of dark leather look. I've been pretty impressed with some of the results, so it's it might be an option for me. Otherwise, I'll probably just be lazy and keep it this way. Going down, the knee armor looks good. Shin armor again, bit of weathering on there looks good. Boots look great. that sort of armor plate on the back isn't painted like the front but we're going to have the jetpack over that so we get this newly sculpted jetpack slightly smaller than what we've had before and that pegs on nicely looks good so i guess for the most part that sort of hides that lack of paint on the armor on the back there but it looks good it looks really good nice sort of silver and blues Sort of go with go through Bo Katan's armor. She does come with a couple of these, and they will fit in the holsters and in her hands, of course. So we'll armor up. Articulation looks to be pretty damn on point. Nice angles there with the elbows. Again, nice single joints with the knees. I don't need to go up any further than that. It looks good. And lastly, we have her helmet, which is just totally awesome. Love the detail and the weathering on this as well. Range finder is movable, which is absolutely amazing. Love that they do that. Love to, love to see that happen more. <laughs> I 
the helmet's sitting on. Look at it. Look at it a little bit longer. I'm just going to hold it here for a little bit longer. <laughs> Just wow, this is so good. I really hope we get to see more of Bo Katan coming forward. Whether she shows up in the Ahsoka series or I think it's more more likely she went up in the Mandalorian. She still wants that Darksaber, doesn't she? What a fantastic figure. What an absolute knockout. Big well done to Hasbro on this one. And if we could just get a vintage collection version, that would be super, super awesome. This is uh, hard to believe. This is the first Bo-Katan figure we've had, period. She's been around for quite a few years now. Love to hear your thoughts. Please drop them in the comments below if you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. That would be super cool. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I would appreciate the crap out of that as much as I appreciate this figure. So thank you all very, very much for watching. And I will see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you always.